grilled spatchcock chicken. And we've got all of our ingredients out, ready to go, and hopefully this will turn into a delicious dinner. Possibly the most disgusting looking thing, and we're gonna have to go right down the middle. dill and sliced our lemons. I was just informed these are actually going to be shoved under the skin of the bird to give it a nice intense citrusy flavor. seen something so barbaric looks so pretty. <laughs> the chicken has to rest about an hour at room temperature just so that it's not cold when it goes in the oven. And in the meantime, we are going to make some gravy out of the gizzards. Now we're doing this as per a recipe of my fiance's mother. And basically, you add just enough water to cover the gizzards, bring it to a boil, and then let simmer for 20 minutes. Along with some salt and spices, we are going to add our lemon, since that is kind of the theme of the spatchcock chicken. Right before this goes in the oven, we're gonna give it one more little drizzle of olive oil. And then it'll bake at 400 for how much 45 did you say? Forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. Once this is drained thoroughly. We are going to put this back on the stove and add some flour and feta cheese and make a nice thick gravy. On the side, we're just making a little salad with some of the Trader Joe's Green Goddess seasoning blend. Some arugula, beets, tomatoes, cucumber, and we'll top it off with some balsamic vinaigrette. We also had some leftover pasta, so we're just throwing that into a pan with some onion, garlic, and oil, and it'll be a nice little side to our spatchcock. Our gravy is also ready to go, as is our pasta with onions and spinach. And there we have our dinner. I don't know why so many of my videos are coming from my car, but here we are. I just got a manicure because my nails were in desperate need of some TLC. And last minute plans are to go to Napa tomorrow with my fiance for an industry event. So I've just popped into Loft to find some California summer appropriate attire. And I thought I'd take you with me.
Hello everyone. I am a little sweaty. I just ran out for a walk and ended up walking for like an hour. But I got home and I had a very exciting package from Care Of. If you're not familiar, Care Of has a marvelous marketing strategy in that they hear you talk about them and appear in all of your social media feeds. So I finally gave in uh, because I wanted to know what the hype was all about Care Of. It's essentially a quiz you take online on their website and then based on your answers, and it's, and it's very thorough, it's like 65 questions and they go through lifestyle, they go through habits and kind of your history and without going too deep into your history, they, they pinpoint pretty well the supplements that they put together for you. So I thought I would open this and show you what I got. I actually really like that Care of takes the time to ask very thorough questions. I've seen some other companies out there that don't ask very many questions before assigning you which supplements of theirs you need to buy. But Care Of's took me maybe 20 minutes to fill out the entire questionnaire. You open it and it says, take it personally. They recommended a pack for me and then because I don't sleep incredibly well, they also suggested that I take the sleep. And this has a blend of melatonin, ashwagandha, valerian, and passionflower extract. So this little 30 capsule bottle is a month's supply. Then they give you your little holder and inside is all of your individualized pill packs. And it even says, hi, Samantha. <laughs> and every day has a quote, which I think is cute. And today's is you only get one life, so you might as well feel all the feelings. And I did not realize they did the little quote thing. I think that's adorable. So there you go. Instead of having a bunch of different bottles as I do right now, it's all going to be in one convenient pack. I've got five different supplements. I have a rhodiola for stress and focus. I have a prebiotic for gut and immune health, magnesium for bone and muscle health, a B complex for energy, and then a vegan collagen for joint health, and then obviously the sleep. So they give that to you all on a little card made for Samantha. And they've got a little brochure in here just welcoming you and encouraging you to set up a routine. And they even have an app that you can go on to kind of track your consistency. And it says you can earn rewards for consistency. So there you have it, care of. Excited to start my new wellness journey. <laughs> Honestly, I have been on so many different supplement routines over the years, and especially being in my industry, I always wanna try everything out that's new. And as great as that is, I do think there's something to be said for personalized nutrition. So I like that Care of takes the time to get to know you. They highlight what, what they suggest and why, give it to you give it to you straight and then give you a fun little daily quote as well. And one other thing, it looks like they've actually put all the different supplement facts panels for each, uh, for each capsule into the box on the side. That is nifty. I like that. from the Giuseppe's Easy Bakes cookbook. And I made these on New Year's Eve and they were a massive hit. And tomorrow for our journey to Napa, I thought I'd make them for the plane. <laughs> to dive in and do a little taste test. Hello everyone. I just wanted to quickly interject because I realized that this vlog is kind of a piece of this, a piece of that. Uh, but to Napa, 
We took a private plane from Nashville, stopped in Memphis, had to switch planes, and we're supposed to continue on to Napa smoothly, flawlessly, and that did not happen. Um, as soon as we landed in Memphis, they told us that there had been a light on that wasn't supposed to be on in the plane that we were in. So they made us deboard, get all of our stuff, switch planes, and then we took off again, maybe a half hour later. And about 45 minutes outside of Nashville, en route to Napa, we heard alarms going off. I was sitting in one of the front seats and turned and saw the pilots like scrambling with buttons and levers and starting to sweat and getting very agitated. And before long, all of the oxygen masks actually dropped out of the ceiling. And I, we were kind of looking at each other. There were about eight of us on the plane all looking at each other like, what the hell is happening? And it turns out it was just a pressurization, pressurization, that's a hard word to say, uh, issue. So our ears were popping, everything was, was kind of going off with pressure. But we had no idea for a good few minutes and that they were the most terrifying minutes of my life. I was physically shaking. My fiance somehow was holding it together. Others on the plane were also kind of freaking out like, there's oxygen masks that have dropped from the ceiling. And even though all of us have heard the flight attendants do their spiel, like many dozens of times, what what are we supposed to do? Like, what, what is the protocol here? How serious is it? So it was very scary. Uh, we had to circle around just to burn off some gas because we just fueled off. And so it was a like two and a half hour ordeal, leaving Memphis, circling around this whole thing, landing again. Believe it or not, we got back into the first plane. It turned out that the light that had been on was not really a big deal. So getting back into the first plane, and then we were finally on our way to Napa. But I don't think I've ever been so terrified in my life. I honestly thought that was it. Like, I honestly thought that was the end. That was it. I was saying my prayers. I thought, I really thought we were going down. So a very scary experience, but we finally made it in the end. Um, the jet company was so kind and it gave us some... Uh, some goodies and whatnot to get us through the rest of our journey. But if you've ever been on a plane where the oxygen masks have come down, you have my sympathies. But I just wanted to jump in and just kind of give that little resume of what happened en route to Napa because the rest of the journey was perfectly lovely and you'll see that in the coming video clips. But I did not obviously whip the camera out to film any of the panic that was happening. So I just had to, just had to insert this little clip here just to set the record straight and it it seems like it was super glamorous and it was for the most part it was a fantastic trip i had a, such a great time but the the trip there was a little rocky so anyway enjoy the rest of the vlog work has brought us here so first coming into the room impression is incredible it's so much better than the New York hotel rooms <laughs> so first let me show you the room you come in and your eyes instantly drawn to the vineyard we have the most magnificent looking bathtub and a big walk-in shower a nice big vanity and then you come into the main room Looks like they've already gifted us a bottle of their estate wine. Coffee station. A gorgeous bed and a very high ceiling. And then you come out to the front patio. And you have a view of the vineyard. I am actually a little upset with myself that I did not bring my vlog, my vlog camera on this trip, but it was very last minute and it's for my fiance's work, so I probably won't vlog that much, but I just had to share because it is gorgeous here. It's my first time ever to Napa, um, so I think this is gonna be fun. Oh, 
don't know why my camera is having so much trouble focusing. But there, we also have a nice big, huge, basically floor to ceiling mirror. And it just makes the room go that much bigger. California is beige, neutral, and I think I nailed it. So outfit of the day today, I have on my Daisy London by Estée Le Ronde, a little shield necklace. I have on a really simple white top that I got at, was it Zara or H&M? When Sandy and I were in Italy, uh, we just popped in. I was, I was out of clothes. So a white top, I think from H&M. And then we have this fantastic skirt. This is from Band Retro, and I got it on the Top Vintage website. However, they do often have more colors and more choices of size on the actual Band Retro website. And then I have on my little Daisy London by Estée Lavand square mini and maxi hoop. And some little shoes. I think these were just off the quick grab section at Target, to be quite honest, because I needed quick flats for a trade show. So that is the look for today. We're off to a vineyard this afternoon. Tonight we have more of the music in the vineyard or live in the vineyard uh, event. Uh, Sarah Evans is performing, so we're very excited about that. And then a quick brunch tomorrow before we head back to Nashville.